Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So, an overwhelming amount of y'all have been asking me since the beginning of time to make a what's on my iPhone video, an updated version. I'm still always really amazed by the fact that everyone's so into these kind of videos and I still don't understand, but you guys asked, so I will deliver, of course. So I do have the iPhone X or 10, whichever what you'd like to call it, I don't really care. This is just the case that I have on it. It is the case that I sell on my online store and if you haven't checked it out already, I will have it linked down below. What shall we do first? Okay, I have to start screen recording, right? Where's the screen recording thing? Three, two, one, go. All right, okay, let's start. Um, first of all, I just wanna talk a little bit about my lock screen and my homepage. It's a photo that I took when I was in Italy last summer and it's one of the statues at the Vatican Museum and for some reason I decided to just set it as both my lock screen and my home screen because I don't know why, I just, really like reminiscing about my um, Europe trip because I really miss that place and yeah. Okay, I'm not really gonna go to depth with a lot of the apps that you see here. You've got mail, calendar, photos, camera, clock, weather, notes, and then in this little health folder, it's just more pre-installed apps. Then I've got settings, of course, and Netflix, one of the apps that I use every single day, and YouTube, of course, another app that I use every single day. A lot of these apps that you see here, obviously, I use it quite frequently. Twitter, so for those of you that don't follow me already, I do have a Twitter account. Yeah, so I tweet on here every once in a while whenever I feel like it. If you are interested in whatever I have to say, you can check out my profile. Instagram. I would say that out of all of the social media platforms that I own, I feel like Instagram is the one that I use the most consistently. Even though it may seem like I post a new photo every three weeks, I do keep my Instagram story quite updated. And yeah, so check it out. Then next, I've got Snapchat. My Snapchat is public, but the thing is, I don't really post on there quite often. It's more of a friend-only sort of situation. I got Visco, my favorite filter app. I'm not gonna go into this app just because I have a lot of photos in there. That is private. We've got the finance folder, a very boring finance folder. And here I just got my TD My Spend. So TD My Spend, it works in conjunction with the TD Canada app because that is the bank that I'm with. I just use that app to keep track of my expenses, how much money I'm spending every week. And it's great that TD has something like this just so I can like compare how much I spent last month to the months before. I think it's very nifty. And then we've got TD Canada. So TD Canada is just your old regular banking app. Nothing too interesting there. You've got PayPal and then you've got AdSense. Um, then you've got Bear. So Bear is, I like to use, you can use it for whatever you want, but the main reason why I have Bear is to keep track of lists. So I like to keep all my lists on there and I'll interchange between using this app or the Notes app. But typically, I don't know, I just prefer using the um, Bear app because it's more aesthetically pleasing, you know what I mean? Like the UX is a lot nicer on here. And yeah, so this was the Toronto packing list that I made a long time ago back when I was downtown with my friends. Next, I've got YouTube Studio, so I'm not going to go into this app, but I use this as just a way to track all of my channel analytics, how it's doing, you know, the whole shebang. Then we've got Second Cup, so I used to be really, really obsessed with Second Cup, and I still am back when school was happening, because me and my friend, we would go there almost every single day before class, so it was almost inevitable that I got a rewards card and, you know, gotta keep track of my points so I can get a free drink but the coolest part about their app is that they've got this cool little feature where if I tilt my phone this way or other the liquid in the cup will also move that way as well so cool little UX design I really like that then we've got my account I don't know why it's called my account it's basically the Fido app that I use to keep track of my data to make sure I don't go over my data limit um, you got Starbucks don't really use this app anymore Ember is the app that I use to keep track of my mugs it's like this temperature control mug so I can set the temperature that I want the mug to be and the little flashing color thing as well so I obviously don't have it paired with the mug right now but if I did then I could show you like all the cool features that it has but it's so cool I love technology I think this is the future I freaking love this mug I use it all the time well not really now because I haven't really been drinking a lot of hot drinks and I mean we're just drinking iced coffee these days but you know when winter comes around again that baby's gonna come back out again. Next, I got Prime Video. So I talked about Prime Video and my latest obsession with it in my favorites video. And can I just say that 
it's amazing that's all i have to say no but as you can see the latest show that i watched right here was parks and rec i'm the biggest parks and rec fan um but what i love about prime video is that they've got a lot of old shows out there that netflix doesn't have or at least the canadian netflix so for example parks and rec they don't have that on the canadian netflix and they don't have desperate housewives which makes me really sad but that's why i have prime video so it's great um if you have amazon prime you know don't forget to check out prime video because you know you're not you don't have to pay extra for it and you get free shows so why not and then i've got the shopify app so i use shopify to keep track of all of my finances and just spending and all that for my online store of course and i can't open it to show you guys and then at the very very bottom you've got like my little phone app to make calls safari messages and spotify so if you guys don't already follow my spotify account what are you doing i've got so many amazing and great playlists that you can listen to right now if you just follow me and check out my profile and I have a playlist for like every occasion, every single event in my life. If you name it, I probably got something. That's that. And then next page. So I'm not going to lie to you. It wasn't until just a couple days ago when I finally decided to reorganize my apps into folders. And I don't tend to do this quite often, but I'll do it every once in a while to feel more organized and more put together in a sense. And I know I'm going to get a lot of questions asking me like, oh, you know, you've shown so many apps in your previous like app favorites videos, blah, blah, blah. But like, we never see them on your phone. Like, where are they? Why aren't they here? And the thing is, I get very tired of a lot of apps very quickly. And that's why I'm always like changing and just adding and getting rid of so many apps. So I go through a lot of apps every single year. It's just the way I am. I don't know. I also didn't bother to change the names of any of these folders so that's why they're all sort of like all over the place first we've got extra so extra just contains more pre-installed apps that the phone came with so you got compass tips voice memos contacts find friends find iphone clips files imovie itunes u keynote numbers pages calculator podcasts facetime and watch so can i just say that I am so extremely grateful for the Find iPhone app because this also works with your AirPods. And there was this one time that I lost my AirPods and it was like literally nestled at the very, very back of my car and I just couldn't find it and I thought I lost it forever and I was freaking out. And then I remembered that my friend used this app to find her AirPods and thank God my AirPods were connected too because what it did was that my AirPods basically sent out a little distress signal and through that signal, I was able to find the AirPods. Thank God. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Next, I've got my miscellaneous folder because I honestly did not know what to name this folder. I uh, got Cineplex just so I can keep up with the newest movies, um, showtimes, things like that. Let's see what's playing, shall we? We've got The Secret Life of Pets 2, Dark Phoenix, uh, Aladdin, Rocket Man, Godzilla, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, then we've got Facebook. Don't really use it that often. I really just go in there to tag my friends in like memes. Then we've got Webtoon. I haven't been using Webtoon that often because none of my favorite Webtoons are being updated at the moment, so like there's no point. Then you got Tumblr. I can't remember the last time I've been on Tumblr. I don't know why. I can't bring myself to delete it. I think it's just one of the apps that have been with me for so long and I feel like this need to just have it with me all the time. I just have a strange feeling where I think I'll need it again someday in the future, but I highly, highly doubt it. Then you got WhatsApp, so I can connect with my friends and family that don't have an iPhone. Uh, got Reddit, so I'm honestly quite a big fan of Reddit, I'm not gonna lie. I like going on the popular page every once in a while, and I'm subscribed to quite a few subreddits that I'm interested in, such as like the Made Me Smile subreddit, um, Old School Cool, and yeah, there's just a lot. Uh, got Google Drive, SoundCloud, Skip the dishes, used to use skip the dishes a lot back when I was in school because I was lazy. UO for when I want to do some online shopping, it's for Urban Outfitters. Manga, sorry, not manga, manga rock. It's the only manga app that I use. I don't know if there's a better one out there, but if there is, let me know. I got Bitmoji. Don't even know why I have this app because I don't touch this app and it's really just for the little Bitmoji character on Snapchat, but I'm thinking about deleting it soon. Got Pinterest. Amazon. Camera Connect is what I use for when I want to easily transfer over my pictures from my Canon to my phone. So it just makes it really simple and easy. I got the Twitch app on here and I mainly only use it for like one Twitch streamer and that's Jenna Julian. Freaking love Jenna Marbles and Julian. Goodreads Messenger. Not really anything that interesting here. Then you got productivity. So this was mainly like my school folder. I have Outlook for some reason, although I don't really know why I have it because 
Mail works the same way. Um, I've got Learn, which is just an app for Waterloo students, Adobe Fill and Sign. I use this to just sign PDF forms. I've got Google Docs. This is just when I have shared files and folders with group projects, and I just want to quickly do a little edit here and there. I've got the Waterloo portal, of course, for Waterloo students, and then you've got Forest. So this is the only productivity app that I've consistently had on my phone for so long, and I haven't actually had the courage to delete because I enjoy it a lot. And I still think it remains relevant and good throughout all these years and the biggest reason why I like it so so much and why it stands out from all the other productivity apps is that the virtual coins that you earn from you know planting a tree it actually can go towards planting um, a real tree in a real forest to help the environment which I think is amazing if you are like the one percent of the population that hasn't heard of this app before it's essentially an app that you can use to try to stay off your phone so you essentially just plant a tree and then you turn off your phone and you're not allowed to touch your phone again or open it or check for notifications anything like that otherwise the tree will die and you won't get your virtual coins to plant an actual tree so in this little key emoji folder I've got remember I think it's such a cute name first of all but it's essentially just an app where you use to keep all of your passwords master password folder esque type thing then you've got purify purify is an app that you use to keep all of the ads off of the websites that you visit on Safari. You got Google Maps. I don't really think I need to explain Google Maps. Um, photo and video. 8mm is what I used for the whole vintage vibe type thing with uh, videos and photos. And then I've got Sparkle Cam, Sparkle Cam. If you see those people on Instagram with the whole like sparkle effect on their photos, they're most likely using Sparkle Cam or Kira Kira. Unfortunately, you do have to pay for Kira Kira, so I use Sparkle Cam because it's free. Then you got RNI Films. RNI Films is what I use when I'm not using Visco, so I'll switch in between those two filter apps. I think both of them are equally amazing. If you're looking for another filter app to try out, try out RNI Films. I uh, got Beauty Cam. Beauty Cam is essentially just like Facetune, but it's sort of more of like an Asian version of it, and I like using it more than Facetune just because it's very quick and easy, so it's great. Um, then you got Kodak Printer Mini. So this app is what I use to connect my mini Kodak printer. Um, so I'll just hook it up and then I can easily print off any photos from my phone and it makes it really quick, easy, efficient, freaking love it. So I've got pic collage. Pic collage is what you use to make photo collages. I don't know how else I can describe it. It's as simple as it gets. Um, then I've got travel. I don't know why this folder is called travel. I think it just automatically made that name, but you know, you got Uber in there. I've got Uber Eats. Um, Letterboxd. Letterboxd, for those of you that don't know about it, I raved about it in my newest favorites video, and it's essentially a little community for movie lovers, for people that want to find new movies to watch, for people that want to stay organized with the films that they've watched, and you know, you can keep track of so, so many things. Like for example, you can make a watch list of all the movies you want to watch, and it just keeps everything one place you get to see user reviews ratings you can rate your own films you can make lists of the movies you've seen overall just a very good app um, next I've got medium medium is an article reading app I guess you can say um, so it's good for people that are interested in reading articles it's good for people that want to write articles you can do both if you want to um, I think it's a very unique article app definitely one of the more uh, millennial-esque article apps out there I guess you could say but I think all the things that they put out are very very interesting and I like how some of them contain a feature where if you don't want to read the article you can actually listen to it and it even tells you how long each article may take for you to read um, but the thing is it is a paid subscription so you do have to pay monthly I can't remember how much but I am a paying member just because I really do enjoy the stuff that they put out on here. Then I've got Timeline. So Timeline is one of those apps that you guys have seen since the very beginning of my YouTube days and it's always been on my phone no matter how many phones I go through. I will always, always have this app and for some reason it's not loading properly. But um, the great thing about Timeline, it's essentially like a news article app that highlights stories that aren't as well known and it's great that they highlight it all in this one app and they're all very great reads and it's organized very very nicely and I don't know why the photos are not loading but it's very very informative and I love it a lot lastly I've got games so I don't really have a lot of games on here because I go through gaming apps like this 
I've got this little pizza app. It's called Good Pizza, Great Pizza. I've showcased this app before in my videos. I think it was the summer app and it's cute. And the fact that you can play without Wi-Fi, yes. I honestly haven't played on here in a while. So cheese and mushrooms taste weird together. Uh, I don't know what this lady means. What does she mean? Oh my god, how do I? Cheese and mushrooms taste weird together. So I don't know what kind of pizza she's asking for here because she didn't provide a lot of information and I forgot to ask for further information. This is not gonna end well, my bad. Oh god, I just lost $9.42. Okay, well, that's how you play that game. I got Food Truck Pup. I talked about this in my latest favorites video as well. But um, you also can play this game without Wi-Fi as well. And you're basically a little dog that runs the strawberry crepe food truck. It's the cutest thing. Here, so here I am frying up the crepes. Oh, wait, yeah, it's done. Okay, so here I am handing it off. And then there's my little employee dog. Then we got Pokemon Go. I'm not going to go into depth with this because everyone knows what Pokemon Go is. But for some reason, me and my cousin just decided to redownload it again because we were like, oh my god, we had so much fun like two summers ago playing this game and I wonder what it looks like now. And we were shook by the amount of new Pokemons that were on there and just like all the different changes. I just go on every once in a while just to see what's near me because I don't have like any Pokemon stops close to me at all. You can see here, this is what happens when you live in the suburbs. Yeah, let's basically about it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed sorry if it was a little bit on the longer side so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you in the next one and as always thanks for watching bye